Welcome back guys to another video of Kuhom Tutorials with Everything Design. Today's video is a beginner guide to starting up with Kuhom, I will show you how to use the tools and how to easily adapt to the software. If you're new to the software, Kuhom is an easy-to-use 3D interior design software that allows you to create stunning designs quickly and efficiently. In this tutorial, we'll be covering all the essential features of Kuhom, so you can get started on your own designs right away. First things first, let's talk about how to get started with Kuhom. To begin, you'll need to go to kuhom.com, once you've done that, you'll need to create an account and sign in. After you've signed in, you'll be taken to the main dashboard where your future projects will be, on this side panel here you can see your projects file. Then you have light rendering which helps you render your videos easily by selecting a ready template. As you can see here we have pre-designed beautiful animation videos, once you are done designing your space, with a simple click you can generate a video to showcase your design. Under video management is where you will find your videos that you created and you can manage them however you like and share them too. Photo Studio allows you to take professional pictures for your designed furniture and products. Next we have your personal library, and that is where you upload textures and models. User Center is your subscription space with billing info and purchase record, you can see all the privileged quota you have, with the pro version you have access to unlimited projects and render coupons. And what I like about Kuhom is that you can earn points and get free coupon every day. There are four plans in this software, the free, plus and pro, and you can book a free demo for the business plan too. With the pro version you can remove the watermark or create your own, you can also buy coupons alone if you are not ready to purchase a subscription. Going back to the task center, it is where you can find the points you earned and claim your rewards. Just by signing in you can earn points which then you can claim more video renders with them. Another 100 points for entering your design tool. Design community is where all your shared projects will be and all your community contributions or competitions. Under settings, you can customize your watermark or add an image in its place or whatever you choose. Usage preference allows you to pick your preferred dimension unit, I work with millimeters. And lastly you have your panorama settings, and it's self-explanatory I guess. Going back to projects, we will select a project or create a new one to start, click enter tool and it will take you to the design tool. So here we are now in the creativity area, please don't feel overwhelmed with all the tools everywhere, once you know what each tool does it will be fun and easy to work with. Let's start from the top here. First we have file meant to create new design, save your current design or restore previous version. Kuhom saves your projects automatically but it's always good to do it manually just to make sure you are not losing any details. Next is undo and redo. The tool, clear allows you to delete or empty a space either fully or selectively. I rarely use this tool because I like to have full control on what I delete and keep. Next we have, Toolkit, which has a material brush, the way you use it is, you can pick any finish from anywhere possible and apply it to another surface or object. Left click on your mouse to pick a finish and left click to paint, right click to let go, and right click twice to stop using the brush. Next we have taping measure, left click to drag and measure, and double right click to change the tool again. Array is a duplication of an object in a certain form or line, we use this for grass or trees but you can use it however suits your design.
Next we have Household Detection Tool. It basically helps you spot any fundamental errors in your floor plan, and Hard Mounted Styling Inspection does what it says. Next is, Furniture Plan which plans furniture in the room for you. Render is to take your final rendering images, you then check your stunning designs in gallery. Drawing and schedules is where construction drawing happens and you can export your bill of material for any of your clients who ask you about the products you use. For the left side panel, we have floor plan and it's where you can search, draw or import a floor plan. You can draw wall by wall or room by room and add holes to your design. Then add doors and windows and any structural components you need such as beams and columns. Next we have Public Library, where you have access to hundreds of objects and furniture. You can find all the accessories, finishes, lighting, decoration and appliances you need. You can also search what you are looking for by brand or color etc. Next we have Construction Tool which I have already made a separate video about it explaining how it works, I will leave it in the description box below for you to watch next. AI Template basically gives you an existing interior design to use depending on your style. Under my account is where all your favorite objects and furniture is located along with your texture and model uploads as well as a history of used objects. Advanced tool is for your kitchen and bathroom design and I will cover this in another video. Custom furniture is for when you want to create your own furniture. That is it for the left panel. In the right panel we have this window with a selected view so when you work in 2D you can watch in 3D here and vice versa. You can select a room to view alone without disruption or view all rooms. Under it you will find the properties panel, every time you select or click on an object, its properties will show here, you can add levels or basements, change your level from here and the rest is up to you to change or leave as is. Down here you will find your 2D view options, you can choose floor to have control over furniture and floor editing, ceiling to have control over lights and spots. and elevation to have control over a certain wall elevation. For 3D options you have different points of view, top view and walk mode. I prefer top view because it's smoother. Next we have View Tool, it allows you to hide objects or walls from sight, uncheck box to hide walls. Next is Display Mode, displays your design in different modes, Material Mode is smooth and simple. Wireframe is sketch and drawing like. Next is to view both material and wireframe. Lastly is transparent material which I find very noisy and architectural. Next I choose Kuhom to run with better performance rather than display. Moving on to this side, we have camera settings which is also self-explanatory, it all depends on your preferences, height and speed and so on. You can save camera shots for later renders.
Under Profile here, we have Preferences. Contains general settings such as language, unit, background color, and all the other changes you can play with to make your experience with Kuham better. Shortcuts and mouse is for keyboard users. I use my mouse more often than not, but if you prefer keyboards, all the shortcuts are here and you can even change or create new shortcuts. Now you can access the same tools and more just by selecting the object. You can move it, scale it, and rotate it. You can also flip it. Replace it with similar items. Duplicate the object. Hide it from sight. Add it to your favorites or delete it. And the two arrows here lead to array tool and different view positions. When you select a floor you can edit the paving from the properties panel or choose a finish from public library. I think we are done with the design tool and we have covered everything, I would like to mention that cloud-based interior design software offers several advantages over traditional desktop software, including Accessibility, cloud-based software can be accessed from anywhere, as long as there is an internet connection, making it more flexible and convenient for designers who need to work on the go or collaborate with remote team members. Scalability, cloud-based software allows designers to scale up or down as needed, depending on the size of their project or team. This makes it more cost-effective than traditional desktop software, which requires upfront investments in licenses and hardware. Collaboration, cloud-based software makes it easier for designers to collaborate with clients and team members, as they can easily share their designs and receive feedback in real time. Updates, cloud-based software is updated automatically, which means designers always have access to the latest features and functionality without having to manually install updates. Integration, cloud-based software often integrates with other cloud-based tools and services, such as project management and invoicing software, making it easier for designers to manage their workflow and business processes. Overall, cloud-based interior design software offers a more flexible, cost-effective, and collaborative approach to designing and managing interior design projects. I have been using Kuhom for a while now and I am really happy with how my designs turn out and the quality of the renderings is better than other interior design programs I have tried. If you want to learn more or try Kuhom I will leave a link down below. The next clip is from a design we made in Kuhom because I want you to see how beautiful and ambient the videos are. If you like the video, leave a like and share with your designer friends so they can try it too. For more videos like these subscribe to our channel and don't forget to leave your comments or questions down below. Thanks for watching.